All right, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to configure your mass drop control keyboard. Um, I just got mine a few days ago, and it took me a little while to figure it out, and I couldn't find any uh, video tutorials, so I thought I'd just make one that was a little bit easier to follow. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to this link here on GitHub for the QMK firmware, and uh, click here and click Download Zip. Now once that's done, um, you can open it in your Downloads folder. And I suggest we make a new folder to house all of the uh, files we need, because we need a few. So I'm just going to call it mass drop control. Um, so I'll move the QMK firmware into there, just so we know where it's at. OK. Now we can go in here and extract it. You can use a WinZip or whatever. I'm going to use 7-Zip here. I'm going to extract it to a folder. All right, once that's done, you can uh, just delete the original zip file. And the next few files we need are in this link here um, for MassDrop's mLoader as well as the applet flash bin file. So uh, you need to click both of them. So click here on applet flash SAMD and then click down here on MD Loader Windows. Um, now, once you've done that, you can go into your downloads folder and move both of those um, to the folder we made. And now everything's set up. All we have to do is make the actual configuration file. So, uh, MassDrop has a really helpful tool over here um, to make that file. So, you can go here and click on control there and now to change the layout you basically just click on any key you want and click what function you want that key to have so uh, a few helpful things that I found were under here underneath the special tab there's LED brighten and darken as well as um, on and off so what I did was for page up I did LED brighten and for page down I did LED darken and for end I put on and off since I don't really use them at all and um, because of the way I set up my LEDs, uh, using the FN button to control the LEDs didn't really work that well. Um, but yeah, so the reason I did this in the first place was to change the LED color. Um, so all you have to do to do that is uh, click here to add a new color and choose the color you want. And then um, save it and then double click here to choose all of them at the same time because I just wanted the same color everywhere. And then select the color you made and do the same with the housing LEDs and click save and then we can click here on compile and download now that's going to download a bin file which is the actual configuration that we have to flash onto the keyboard so once that's done we'll be in your downloads folder we can move it to the uh, mass drop folder we made and here now, since we have to um, actually type in the name of the file, I think we should name it to something easier. I'll just call it led.bin. Um, I actually have um, one that I made earlier that I'll just use to flash it because I don't want to change the configuration. Now what you want to do is open up the command prompt and um, change the directory to the folder we made here. So you can do cd downloads backslash mass drop control. Now we're in that directory. Um, so the command we want to do to actually flash the firmware onto our keyboard is mdloader underscore windows dot exe two hyphens and then first and then another two hyphens and then download and here we want to put the name of our file so if you remember here I called it led.bin so led.bin and then another two hyphens and then restart. Now for this next step um, we have to 
either have a second keyboard or use the on-screen keyboard like I did because um, I just didn't want to have to connect a second keyboard but uh, basically we have to click the flash button on the back of the keyboard which uh, makes it so that you can't use it but then we have to press the enter key so unless you have a second keyboard connected you can hit the enter key on um, you have to enable the on-screen keyboard which if you go here and then go to settings you can just search keyboard and here turn the on-screen keyboard on or off you can just click that and click on and it pops up here so I'll put that there and so what you want to do now is click the reset button on the back of the keyboard um, if you turn it over and you can see the uh, control lettering is upright it's all the way on the left side uh, between those two metal kind of screws um, so I'm gonna click it now you can use a paper clip or a, a toothpick or something and the uh, LEDs on your keyboard should turn off and the keyboard should kind of be disconnected so after that you can click on the uh, command prompt window and click enter on your virtual keyboard and there you go um, after a few seconds the LED should come back on um, and it should be connected again um, so yeah it's pretty straightforward I just wanted to make a quick video tutorial because the text tutorial was a little bit harder to follow um, but yeah that's how you change the layout or the LED configuration of your mass drop control keyboard